folks, for a special treat. It's kind of a last minute thing. I'd like you to introduce Bubba from Bradenton. Let him know, Bubba from Bradenton. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, so uh, I got a call, I'm a pl plumber, Bumba's Plumbing out of Bradenton. You've probably seen our trucks out on the interstate. Well, actually, we just have one truck. But I've done a lot of work here at McCurdy's because they seem to have a problem with the men's commode over here. And I got a call from Ken tonight to get here a little early, get it cleaned out. So, so I will tell you, it, it was a big job, very big job. And, but I got her done, and Ken was so happy that he asked me just to come up here to fill in. I guess somebody else didn't show up. So here I am, and I don't know what to talk about to all you fine looking people, but I thought of one thing. I've been married four times, so uh, I thought I could educate the other Bubba's out there in the crowd, and I see quite a few, uh, on you know what not to say and do to stay married, okay? So you up for this? All right, let's, let's talk a little bit about that. So the first thing is um, you never want to underestimate the honesty of your wife. Uh, so the other day, the, the warden and I, the warden, that's what I call her when she's not around. So the warden and I are out on the 75 driving, and I had the pedal to the metal. We were headed for a fancy dinner up at Woody's. And uh, so I, I hear behind me this police car coming up and want to pull me over. And this young, pretty looking state trooper says to me, she says, sir, I clocked you going 87 back there and it's a 70 zone. And I said, well, miss, that's impossible. I had my cruise control set on 69. And the warden says, he never uses cruise control. And I'm looking at, about that time, the pretty state trooper looks down at my lap and she says, sir, your, your seatbelt isn't fastened. That's the law in this state. I said, I know that, of course. But when you pulled me over, I had to get in my back pocket to get my license out of my wallet. And the warden says, he never wears a seatbelt. And I go, will you just shut up? And the trooper says to her, does he always treat you that way? She says, only when he's been drinking. So watch, watch their honesty. All right, so another thing I've learned the hard way is um, never, never um, uh, underestimate how much detail they will pay to, uh, to you about every little thing about you, stuff you would never even notice. For example, we was in church last Sunday, and it was a long sermon, and my bladder was about to burst. So I went over to the the turlet, I'm sorry, that's what I call it, the turlet. And I come back and sit down next to the warden, and she looks down at my lap, and, and she whispers in my ear, because the sermon's still going on, she says, she says, Bubba, she says, um, you left the garage door open. And I'm thinking, well, we don't even have a garage <laughs> back at, in the Bradenton Estates trailer park. <laughs> and then I look down, and I realize that my zipper's down. So I said, lean over and whisper in her ear, honey, did you see the big Hummer in there? <laughs> and she leans back and whispers in my ear, no, but I saw a Mini Cooper with two flat tires. <laughs> so for all you men out there uh, trying, to, trying to get into the promised land, and you, know, you know what I mean by the promised land, right? <laughs> okay. So here's a couple tips that I've picked up along the way. Uh, you should do all kinds of random stuff that makes no economic sense. Like picking up flowers on the way home from work, even if it ain't her birthday or your anniversary. But I did learn, when you get them from the cemetery, be sure to take the ribbon off that says, in loving memory. And, uh, and another thing that I, you, should, you should try to do as much as you can, tell her that she's beautiful, inside and out, 
And even if she's standing in front of the mirror, stark stripped naked, and looking and kind of complaining about how things are getting a little larger and sagging a little bit, one thing you don't want to do is commend her on her perfect eyesight. All right, so I'm, go I'm going to close with a little encouragement for you Bubba's in the room. You Bubba's in the room, uh, maybe this will get you to the promised land. Uh, but I just read a, a, a survey in Cosmopolitan magazine. That's my go-to reading these days, because that's the only place you can try to figure out what women want and what they think by reading that magazine. And they had done a survey uh, uh, on the women, and 10% and of the women thought their asses were too small. 30% thought their asses were too big. The rest, 60%, said they didn't care. He's a good man. They wouldn't trade him for any other ass. And, 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 and they, fin she fin they finish with, or I'll finish with, that might get you into the promised land once a year on your birthday. And I gotta run, because today's my birthday. She's a hell of a plumber.